Hi everyone. So I discovered a few days ago that poor little Coco has got fermites at the moment. Um, and what fermites are, they are usually the most common type in rabbits, a non-burrowing um, type of parasite um, that live on the skin and fur of the bunny. Um, they can create itching and dandruff um, and they're tiny little tiny things it's hard to see with the with the naked eye unless you really look through the fur they're easier to see on white bunnies um, but Coco didn't have any actual symptoms of this so she wasn't scratching or itchy um, she wasn't you know she didn't have patches of fur loss she didn't really have any obvious dandruff to look at it now you know you couldn't tell that she really has them so um, it was only because I was grooming her, which I regularly do now, that, especially now that she's older, um, that I found them. Um, and I think probably I, ch I checked the other bunnies and guinea pigs, and at this stage they don't thankfully have them. So I think probably what's happened is that just because she is older, um, she can't groom herself as well. She can't reach around to the back of herself as she used to, um, and so you know they're an opportunistic little creature. These mites. So I think they've just targeted her. Bunnies also with weaker immune systems such as young bunnies um, or with an underlying um, medical condition are also more likely to get them. Um, so what I'm showing you here is just what I treated her with which is the revolution for puppies and kittens um, and it says in the pack that it is safe for bunnies which is really important. You always want to use something that is safe for rabbits. Um, so it's just one dose that I had to give her. She is exactly 2.5 kilograms um, and just, you see it says here single use on a rabbit so you just use one tube and she was just the right weight for this um, you always want to use things that are say they are safe for rabbits but you've got to be careful because always avoid products that have now I've got, I forget how you say this I think it's perethrin um, and also um, Fipronil, I think it is. I don't know. I'll write that up on the, the screen there when I edit this. Um, because they are very, very, very poisonous to rabbits. They can cause seizures, um, depression, and actually death. So never um, treat rabbits with any of those products. Um, also, of course, you want to avoid um, using any sort of dip because you'd never bath a rabbit. That's very stressful and dangerous to them. Um, and flea powders, they're just not recommended. Or, you know, mite powders, flea powders aren't recommended for bunnies either because you know that's it's not good for them they're going to be licking that off and that sort of thing which isn't which isn't recommended um also if you have two rabbits together and you're treating them with the revolution um which what you do is you just have to part it's it's a topical treatment so you part the fur between their shoulder blades and you just apply the the liquid onto the skin there but if you have two rabbits that are living together um, obviously you want to make sure that you separate them for a fair period of time just until that liquid on the neck is dry because otherwise they're going to groom each other and lick it off and that might not be very safe for them so that's just a little tip there that I thought I'd mention um, and you also want to make sure that you keep the the area clean whether you vacuum it regularly which is what I'll be doing um, and I'll also be washing the polar fleece and scrubbing out her litter box regularly as well because uh, little mites and mite eggs can remain in the area so they might reinfest her even though she's been treated if I don't clean the area she could get reinfested again with the mites so just to make sure that you clean regularly brushing regularly helps when they have the mites just to get rid of any dandruff and fur that's coming out um, as well but you need to make sure that you disinfect the brushes and combs after washing because you don't want to spread it onto your other bunnies or animals um, and it's also a zoonosis so that means that the mites can affect humans as well they're not going to live on your skin like they do with the rabbits but they can irritate your skin they can bite you and create irritation on the skin as well so and they can pass on to other animals like cats and dogs that sort of thing so it's a good idea just to change your clothes after handling a rabbit with mites and also to um, wash your hands well obviously as well so as well as treating cocoa with the revolution i've also popped some probiotic in with her food um, on a daily basis uh, and this probiotic is safe for rabbits it's made for rabbits as well as for puppies and kittens and cats and dogs and that sort of thing um, because obviously mites target animals with a weaker immune system and I know that Coco has had always had a bit of a sensitive stomach 
and the immune system. The strength of the immune system is often a reflection of the strength of gut health. So I thought, well, that can't help. Well, that can't hurt. Hopefully it will help. <laughs> that can't hurt to give her that as well and just help to strengthen her up. And I'm making sure she has lots of vegetables um, that contain a lot of vitamin C too, which is, of course, good for the immune system in that way as well. Um, so I think that's all I needed to cover there. I just wanted to share that with you and, um, yeah, just let you know that that's what's going on at the moment and share the tips that I've I've um, been doing to treat her um, but of course I mean I was really confident when I saw the mites what they were um, I had to look closely because they just looked like little specks of hay dust in her fur but when I had a really good close look at them I could see that they were moving a little bit and I thought straight away oh, fur mites um, and I knew they were that and I was really confident of how to treat them but of course because there can be and I was really confident too that it was because of her old age but because it can indicate an underlying health problem that their immune system is lowered that sort of thing you know you should always always get them seen by a vet if there's any doubt in your mind or just in case you know just to put just to be really sure because rabbits hide illnesses really well so if just to eliminate anything like that you should always get them seen by a vet get it diagnosed properly um, and get the right dosage of medicine that sort of thing you know it, it doesn't pay to to try and work it out yourself if you're not confident with that so uh, my advice certainly doesn't replace that of a veterinarian but um yes but I just wanted to share that with you and hopefully it might just be of interest all right well thank you so much for watching everybody and I will see you in my next one bye <laughs>